there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to do a little side-by-side -side collage of two images. Um, so the first step that you're going to take is to go to File, New, and then you're going to create um, some dimensions here for your new, for your new document. Excuse me. Um, here I'll be using two images that I've already sized for the web, so I'm not going to make my document too large. You can make yours uh, really as large as you'd like, and then you can always resize it for web later. Um, generally, I don't ever print these collages or um, have clients want to print them, so I usually only use these for web. Um, but again, feel free to adjust these dimensions if you feel like printing, use larger pixel dimensions. Um, I would probably use something similar to the dimensions of what your image is straight out of camera. Um, but again, I'm just going to use some web size dimensions today. So I'm going to use 1800 pixels in width, and then I'm going to use 1200 in height. And we can always crop um, later if we want to. And then for now, I'm just going to use 240. And then hit OK. Now this is your new document, and so what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that your move tool is selected, and um, that's just this little arrow with the cross, um, well, the cross next to it, and then you're going to click that, and what you're going to do is select the image that you want to add to your collage, click right on the photo, you'll notice that your mouse changes, and then you're just going to drag it over your new document. My new document is just called Untitled One, and then once um, your mouse changes, after you're hovered over your photo, you can let go. And then I'm going to do that with the next one too. Just click right on the photo until your mouse changes. Drag over your new document and don't let go until your mouse changes to have that little plus sign next to it. And let it go. And now you've got two photos on here. So as you can see, they're too big for this. Um, the photos were actually bigger than the dimensions we used, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to hold down my control key and select both layers in the layers panel. Then I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform, and I'm going to resize these. And the reason I held down Control in my Layers panel is so that I can resize them both at the same exact time. So now I'm just going to hold down my Shift key, or you can hit this little Link button right up here, and, you, and then you don't have to hold the Shift key. And what that does is it maintains your dimensions. That way your photos don't get squished. They stay exactly the right um, shape. And then you can just drag and resize until they look good. And you can make them a little bit smaller than your um, your, Im or your sorry your white document here. That way you can have some little excess along the edges to create a sort of border. So once you've got them sized down pretty good, I think that looks fine for now. We're going to hit the check mark, and then we're going to separate these photos. And you can put them however you'd like, uh, right next to each other. Or I'm going to use my arrow key on my keyboard just to separate them a tiny bit. And then you can hold, um, you can hit Control or Command on your keyboard again to select both. And then you can move them around together. Or again, use your arrow keys um, on your keyboard to scoot it right over into the corner until you like the border that it gives. And then I think that looks pretty good, so I'm going to leave it there. And then I'm going to grab my rectangular marquee tool. And that is just this little square tool right over here. And then I'm going to start from the corner that I've already set up on both sides. I like the border here. And then I'm just going to drag this way and make it a um, similar border around there. I'm going to leave a little bit of white space. And again, this is not an exact science. You can just crop more later if you need to. And so then I'm going to go to Image, Crop, and then I'm done. Now, if this was a large document, you could then resize for web, um, or you can save. You can hit Control D to get rid of that um, selection. And then you can move these around a little more if they weren't perfect. Um, yeah, and then just save for web, and you can upload to Facebook. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Morgan Burks Photography, or you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day.